lot of children love to read, but some of them just need that little extra push to find that passion. And a former Houston Texan has found a way to help them find it. In a word, competition. Mm -hmm. A Kindle for every classroom and a special Super Bowl reading with the pros visit. Those are the prizes up for grabs. Channel 2's Chip Brewster caught up with former Texan Wade Smith as he brings out the competitive edge in students. Why the Sun and the Moon Live in the Sky. This is a favorite book of a young Chip Brewster. I have many fond memories reading as a kid, and so does my good friend, Mr. Wade Smith, former Texans Pro Bowler. He wants to instill that same passion for reading into kids across the Houston area. And you have to make sure that the younger kids in the school are reading as many books as possible. To help him on that mission, Wade made three stops at area elementary schools on Tuesday. With him, he brought thousands of books donated by Half Price Books and a little competition put on by the Wade Smith Foundation. Which school can collectively read the most? Oh, we're going to win. We already decided we're going to more than double the goal. We are going to win. Principal and Chief John Kennedy Elementary cheerleader Diana Lum loves the idea and the donation that came with it. Not all my kids have home libraries, and my goal is to put a book in all their hands. And while they're competing with each other, their, their brains are expanding. They're opening their minds in so many different horizons. One of the books kids might read has a familiar author. Myself and Jamie Lamb uh, came together and, and wrote the story about a kid named Smitty. Since he was very little, Smitty dreamed of playing football. Yeah, very, very, very similar to somebody else you know. His mom did not want him to play football at all. She thought he would get hurt and it was a dangerous sport. She finally relents and lets him play and he forgets um, that, you know, school comes first. Now football was all Smitty could think about. What ends up happening is football gets taken away from him. Curious how Wade's book ends? I'll give you a hint. No homework equals no football. As for the student competition, they have until January 27th to hit the books. Chip Brewster, KPRC, Channel 2 News.